What is going on, everybody, and welcome to the first ever bonus part of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In this bonus part, we're just gonna, going to make what we have with the HUD just look a little bit better. So change some colors, add some cool little highlights to this bar, and add a little background to it. So let's get started here. First of all, I want to group together everything that's related to the health and everything relating to the armor. So I'm just going to move this armor down to the line of code with the armor uh, box. Next up, I want to make the background of the HUD a little bit darker. It seems kind of light right now. So let's bring this value down by 20. So bring it down to 30. And this will just bring it a little bit closer to, to full-on black, which in turn is going to make it darker as so. Next up, I want to add some highlights to the top portion of the health and armor bar just to make it pop a little bit more. Just add some variation to what we have right now. So after this line here, we want to draw ourselves another rounded box. Draw a rounded box. Again, we don't want any sort of curvature to the corner, so put a zero in there. The X value, will leave it at 10. We'll do screen height minus 75 again and math dot clamp client health and again to explain what this did I feel like I didn't explain it so well the last time but this is going to out of these three numbers figure out which one is in the middle so let's say you have you got the 0 and the 100 here that's already set and then you got the client health. So that'll be anywhere between 0 and 100. So let's say the client's health is 30. That number 30 is in between 0 and 100. So the width of this thing, or what the math.clamp thing is going to do, is it's going to return that 30, because that's in between 0 and 100. If this value, if client health would be 0, the value would be set to 0. If client health was 100, it would be set to 100. Otherwise, it will be set to whatever the health of the player is. That's what the width is going to be set to. And then let's multiply this by 2.25 just to make up for some of the extra space that we're going to need. Just to increase that width just a little bit more. And make this 5 because we don't want it to take up the whole thing. It's just going to add a little bit more color to the top portion of this bar. So we need a color. And let's set this color to full on... What is it? Oh, actually, this needs to be set to 255 also while I'm thinking about it. Because we want this to be red. We don't want it to be blue or green anymore. So, oh yeah, script error, my bad. So yeah, this I'm just going to change this value to 255.00255. So it's full on red instead of full on green. So let's create the highlight now. We need full red and 30 green, 30 blue, and then no transparency and we save that we come back in here and as you can see if you look closely you can see the red but right on the top portion the first five pixels of that bar it's a lighter red just to make it pop a little bit more so just to add some variation to that so let's go ahead and do that with the armor as well let's draw a rounded box zero curvature to the corners X value of 10 and the Y value, we want the screen height minus 40. Math.clamp, client armor, 0, 100, times 2.25. And set this to 5 as well, that's going to be the height of it. And the color of it is going to be the same exact thing as this. It's going to be 0, 0, 255, except the 0 values. We want to change them to something that's a little bit lighter. So let's try out 15 and 15. And get ourselves some armor. And as you can see, if you look closely, you'll be able to see that lighter blue at the top. So, now that we got that done, when I look at this thing, I feel like the health and armor is a little bit too close. So let's go ahead and change this Y value here to how about 45. And since we did that, we need to 
40 plus 50 is 15, so this needs to be 30. 15, 55 is what I meant to say. Uh, keep that at 30. And then we got a little bit more spacing in between there, so it's not so crept. And one more thing for each of these is we want to add a box behind all of this. So it will still be drawn even when they don't necessarily have the health. So let's add that now. This will go right up at the top. We want to draw a rounded box. 0, 10, screen height of minus 75. And we're just going to set this to 100, because we always want this to have a fixed width of 100. And then we need to do 5. All right. My bad, not 5. This needs to be 15. And then a color of full on red, 0, 0, and we want it to have an alpha of 30. So now if we look at this, if everything is correct, um, yeah, that's fine. Now let's just damage myself here. Oh, no, oh, that's something up. Here, let's see. Oh, yeah, my bad. We need to multiply this by 2.25. And now let's see what we got. So it's got that transparent red behind there now. Make it look a little bit better. And we're going to do that with the armor as well. So let's just copy that. Paste it down there. And instead of this, we want... RGB 255 for the B. And this needs to be set to 30. Now we run this. You can see that we got that transparent blue bar at the bottom now. We can add some armor to it and it'll still be there. So that's going to be it for the whole design for the health and armor. Uh, you can go ahead and mess with this as much as you want. It won't affect the game mode at all. It's just there for looks. So if you don't like the way this one looks, go ahead and mess around with it as much as you want. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.